I'm an entrepreneur, and probably like you, I'm pretty stressed out right now. There was a great article in the New York Times today titled, Staying Sane When the World Seems Crazy. And I thought a quick recap of that article would make for a good video. Before I begin, let me say I'm not a therapist and I'm not sort of any mental health advisor. I'm an insurance broker, an entrepreneur, a business owner, and things right now are pretty frightful for all of us. Like a lot of Americans, I want to stay informed, but consuming too much cable and network news gets me a bit anxious. In fact, 55% of Americans right now say they've never experienced stress like this before. So how do we manage stress and anxiety? The article recommends sticking to the facts. Headlines create stress and a sense of powerlessness that then breeds fear. And we end up exaggerating the severity of the threat and underestimate our ability to cope. Dr. Steven Stosny, a therapist quoted in the paper, said we can actually cope better than we think we can because we all have a survival instinct. Instead of feeling powerless, evaluate what you do know to be true and don't exaggerate. His advice, think about things like, I still have my health, I have my family, I can still cook delicious meals, I can work from home, I can go out for a walk or a run. Don't jump to conclusions. When the news and our leaders are constantly changing course, it's easy to fill in the blanks and jump to conclusions. Stop and don't rush to conclusions. The world isn't all black and white. There are millions of shades of gray out there and real life is incredibly nuanced and we've got to remember that. Take care of yourself. Anxiety impacts our decision-making skills, so now you've got to really stay focused so you make the right and most informed decisions. Next, keep yourself in shape with elements of self-care. Exercise, get out for a walk. I'm able to meet up with a group of folks a few times a week for trail running, at appropriate social distancing of course, but this socialization and continued physical training has been very beneficial for me. Get some good deep sleep. Also, practice social interactions with business partners or with friends, whether on the phone or on video chat. Maybe we should also spend less time on social media. But most of all, cut yourself some slack. Be kind to yourself right now. Don't beat yourself up for worrying about or not hitting your numbers this quarter. Next, have some quiet time each day to decompress. Whether you meditate, pray, practice mindfulness, or just want to listen to some music, it's important to have a few moments of peacefulness each day. The paper also says get involved where you can by helping others, whether it's volunteering with a nonprofit or positively contributing. This will help reduce stress and give you a sense of purpose. Anything you can do proactively will help, says Dr. Stosny. The bottom line is that we're living through one of the most disruptive times of a generation, but we'll get through it. As a country, we've gotten through world wars, depressions, recessions, terrorist attacks, and wars. We are resilient as individuals and businesses and as a country. The recently passed stimulus package will help. It's certainly not a cure-all, but it will help, and with time, we'll pass through this crisis. I'm wishing you the best of reduced stress and success. Good luck out there.